The weather separated the casual anglers from the diehards for the fishing opener on Saturday. I hit the water with a local fishing guide to find the early hot spots in the cold conditions. The temperatures hover around 32 degrees as anglers pursue the first fish of the season. It is absolutely miserable. I mean, I felt like we needed our ice auger and our fish house this morning. Red Nicks have no chance up in this weather. Water temperatures drop about five degrees in the two days before the opener, causing the fish to dive deeper. We've had really good luck in about 12 to 15 feet of water. Jigs and minnows, fireball jigs. Beef Sather and his sons Logan and Luke fill the live well with half their walleye limit by 9 a.m. Put the hook in the mouth, then you put it up through the nose like that. Working shiners by drop-offs near weeds proves the best place. And if we're trolling, I'll just leave it in there. But if we're just sitting still, I'll let it sink for a couple seconds and I'll reel it in slow. The bite slows down a lot as the day rolls on, but Luke hooks a fish only to have it escape. Oh, you know why they you missed it? You never set the hook. No, because they call it fishing, not catching. <laughs> but Luke has the last laugh when he reels in the biggest walleye in the boat. Look at that. Big one. I really wanted to get that fish and I got it. The last tip from Sather and the boys is fish the windy side of the lake. Good luck in 2015, anglers. Fish on! And going to the report of the southern portion of our area, Tim Edinger from S&W Bait uh, tells us on Gull Lake, North Long Lake, and Round Lake that uh, the walleye it was really good from midnight until 4 a.m. as long as you're trolling, uh, but it gets slower as the day goes on. Use crankbaits and hit the shallows. Moving on to the whitefish chain, um, walleye is really slow, but the northern and crappies are really biting hard as long as you use minnows in about 12 to 14 feet of water. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.